Hi, this is Keith with Alien Drones. Thanks for stopping by the channel, really appreciate it. Today I want to talk about something under the hood of the Mavic, and that is the micro SD card that we all store our cinematic footage on. The SD card is really important, and there's all kinds of numbers on this SD card, and it's important for us to understand a little bit what those numbers mean so that we choose the appropriate card for our particular application. So as drone owners, it's important to understand what we're putting in there and why it's useful to us. Now, of course, I did want to be doing some more footage, showing some of those great videos that I've been taking, but this is what I'm left with. So of course, when this passes, I will get back to doing some of the great videos and I'll share those online as I get them. So what I wanna to do today then is go through the little numbers that are on the SD card and kind of why they're important. So I'm gonna go right into it. So the first number is going to be the gigabyte storage of the card itself. Of course, in this case, it's 64 gigabytes. Everybody kind of knows what that means. It doesn't matter if you're using this for a drone or if you're using it for your smartphone or your computer or PC. That number is going to be the storage capacity of the card itself. Now, the Mavic states in the manual that the 64 gigabyte is the preferred memory size. And I actually have one of these that are spare as well in my case, so that when that one either gets full, or has a problem, or I want to transfer things, things like that, I do have a spare in my case of that one as well, and I would recommend that you do that as well. The second few numbers that are on here are a couple of these items. One is this little U3 here, and then you'll see the uh, V30 on the other side. Now, that's important because these both have to do with the speed rating of the card itself. Now, this is actually the write speed, and that sequential write speed is really important. Of course, Every time we're taking a video or taking pictures, the write speed is what we're really worried about. That write speed, that sequential write speed is crucial to us being able to save all of our footage and not have any dropped bits or any frames or any noise or anything like that. So the U3 says that we would have a sequential write speed minimum of 30 megabytes per second. Or well, the class one, if that were one inside that little funny U, it would be at least 10 megabytes per second. The V over on the right side here, the V30 or V10, that actually is also sequential write speed. And it would, the 30 again, is saying that it could write sequential data of 30 megabytes per second and above. So that's a minimum write speed. And actually some tests that have been done show that when you have the V30, especially with this card that we have here, which is the Extreme Pro, actually has been tested and writes more 50 to 60 megabytes per second. So it's really, really good for the 4K video that we're trying to save as we're doing these videos. The next piece on here, the micro SD or the micro XC, is the size of the card. And of course, you're familiar with that based on the type of card that's gonna fit in a device that you have. And then of course we have the little A1 or A2 down here. Now that isn't really gonna matter as much for us. What that is, is that is the sustained sequential write speed of like 10 megabits per second. And it actually has some what they call IOPS, which is input output per second. And that input output per second, it isn't quite as important to us in this mode because that particular rating is the app speed. Now that's gonna be more important than your phone or in your tablet or something like that, but really doesn't apply too much to us drone owners. So it, it's important, of course, but it really won't apply to us that much. But that being said, just to be thorough, here's the ratings on the IOPS and how they work with those different ratings. The A1 is actually 1500 IOPS and the A2 is actually 4000 IOPS and that's a minimum random read. Of course, the read isn't quite as important as the write to us in this case, because of course we're trying to write all this really fast and not really read it as much. It's gonna be more important when you're trying to read the data back into your software or something like that. And of course, it's important to note that I did have some problems with writing, and I could actually see it when the temperature was really cold. And I mentioned that video earlier. You can take a look at the video that I shot during that. 
And you'll see actually some of the artifacts that were in my images. And that was solved by actually changing the card that was made for the mechanical shock and vibration, temperatures, things like that that are for the drone. So it is really important, I think, to have the right card. So I certainly would recommend this Extreme Pro for our drones. But this wasn't meant to be an in-depth review of cards. But I just wanted to throw out there the different numbers and how they do affect us. And of course, mention that it does make a difference to us. And it's important that we choose the right card for applications so that we get the best use of our drone. So that being said, please, if it was useful, hit the subscribe, the like, and the notify button right down here. And we'll continue to learn about drones together. Thanks and good flying.